Hello YouTubers. I wanted to share a little bit of information about the Multimig 200 Synergetic. It's uh, made by Hitbox and I'm going to go through the setup of this machine. So in the inside the machine there's a couple of nice features that you can use when MIG welding. Um, you've got post flow and pre flow. So when you hit the trigger on your MIG gun you get a little bit of gas flow so it purges out the weld area and uh, you get a nicer start that way. Um, there's an, In addition to that they also give you a, a slow feed control so you can uh, instead of having the wire shoot out at full speed it comes out a little bit slower and then you don't uh, it gives it a chance for it to arc up and start arcing and and start welding for you. Uh, there's also spool gun mode, remote, you have these two switches in off, you got a purge and a feed for when you're spooling up, up the machine. Uh, there's a bit of post flow that works as well, so you have a little bit of gas at the end, uh, just to help cool the weld a little bit. So we'll go around to the front and we'll look at the controls. So I'll start by turning the machine on. So it goes through a, a startup routine. It'll run the fan. And you can see over here it's in MIG mode right now. So my last setting was, uh, I had it at maximum wire feed speed and voltage. Um, this would be a good setting if you were going to do spray transfer. Once you've used the machine you can also save your settings. So I'm going to abstract uh, um, a previous setting I had when I was in uh, 0.8 wire size. So to do that you just come over to here. You can do this is the first thing you can do when you want to start welding you can go in here and retrieve a setting that you like to use for whatever material you're welding. So you just press the button. I think I have four different settings saved in here. Uh, two settings, okay. Um, to set it up, basically you start on one end and go to the other. Uh, so let's do that. So you got your MIG, stick, TIG. We're just going to do MIG today. Next over is T2 or T4. So essentially on your gun you can either have latching or just on off on your trigger. So when you have latching on when you're in T4 uh, the trigger latches and basically you, you hit the trigger let it go and it just keeps welding till you hit the trigger again. So on long welds that's actually kind of nice feature. Next over, I'm running a, a 2080 mix, or 
Yeah. Because I like to get into spray with this thing, so I'm not using 7525. Uh, let's see. Next over, solid wire, welding steel, 30 thou wire, and we could start welding right now. Another thing you can do is you can go down a manual here. Okay, so in manual you push the button, and now that takes you up to your voltage. Push the button again, now you got your wire feed. Um, and then you adjust that. And this goes, I believe it's up to 16. Yeah. Uh, I think in manual, if you're doing 3 sixteenths, I think you'd be running around uh, 13.6. And then for voltage, you could run up around 21 volts. If after welding with that setting, you like that setting and you want to save it, then you just pop over to here, go up to there, and hit save. And then later on, if you want to retrieve it, and you just go down to retrieve or abstract. And I think I have another one saved in here, so it should go back and forth between the two. Uh, looks like I have three or four different settings there. All right, so let's go over to, oh, I'll show you the synergetic part of this. So uh, let's retrieve a setting. So there we're, we're at, okay, so now I'll go back to wire size, let that flash. And now, if I twist the knob, because it's on voltage, uh, I'll push this in. There we go. So as I adjust the wire speed, it automatically adjusts the voltage for me. <clears throat> and that's how the synergetic part of this works. So once I find a setting that I like, uh, and then I start welding, if I want to tweak that a little bit, I just come over and make an adjustment and it'll raise my voltage and wire speed together. Over here we have uh, wave control, which uh, controls the weld. So less wave control, you tend to broaden out the weld. Uh, more wave control, and that tends to narrow up the weld and get you a little bit more penetration. So in the middle is pretty good. Uh, I tend to run it in the middle and then if I, I sort of tweak it one way or the other depending. If I'm running dirty steel or something or a bit, bit dirtier steel I can turn this up a little bit. If I've got nice clean steel and I want to sort of make the weld look a little nicer I can back off on this a bit and widen out my puddle a little bit. So that's it in a nutshell. It gives you an idea of uh, um, what this can do. All right, next uh, next video I'm going to do some welding. Okay, this is going to be the multi-sync uh, with the settings that you see on the dashboard there.
Not a stack of dimes, but not bad. You can see I have the inductance set here to kind of get that puddle effect that you saw there. Okay. Okay, so now I'm in manual. Uh, I got my inductance cranked up a little bit. In manual there, 21 volts, 13.2. And I think we should be into spray. So let's see how spray transfer looks. Looks like I ran out of wire. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to end the demonstration there. Uh, let's see how that spray. Well, it's, you can see it does spray transfer beautiful. That was gonna be a nice stack of dimes there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video.